that's a point of emphasis with the referees. They want to try to continue to clean up the post play. So that's the second personal on Dahi. And coming into the ball game for North Carolina, walk on win from Winston Salem, Justin Bolander. And last night in the NCAA and the ACC, NC State big, and so was Clemson over Gardner West. Here is Hodge, 24 points, 11 rebounds in that game. Florida State beat my alma mater. There's May inside. Five points for Sean May. I, I knew you had a frown in your face for some reason. Well, they only played the big time every so often. Well, they just went for that's the, why. They went for the warm weather. Yeah. <laughs> Florida, sure, will come. Yeah. T.J. Walden misses the easy lay-in up front. 11-6, uh, North Carolina in the lead. This should be the schedule. Manual at the top. And skip across the defense. Kance gives a look to May inside, and well, you talk about it. When May scores, things go well. It's a seven-point North Carolina lead. Wow, and just real nice interior action between May and Bolander was able to free May up. He got his man on his back right in front of the rim. And Williamson calls timeout for Old Dominion here at the 13:34 mark. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, and let's look at Sean May, who has seven points, and that's the size of the Tar Heel lead. Well, he's trimmed down from last year, CB. It looks a little more lean, a little more chiseled. Nice little jump hook in there with Mercer on his back. The ability to get out and run and a nice touch pass to Rashad McCants. Then you see when, when he's able to touch the ball down low, it's just about automatic. Sean May, who missed 24 of the Tar Heels' last 25 games. He did make an appearance in the ACC tournament semifinal against Duke. Well, and, and think about this, that he really has not played an ACC schedule. He played no. at, at Florida State. The first game of the year was ineffective there and then really kind of went on the shelf after that and then the, the 20 minutes against Duke in the tournament. But uh, So ACC fans really haven't had a chance to see a lot of him. Well, it looks like if he can stay injury-free, they will this year. The sophomore from Bloomington, Indiana, has seven to lead the Tar Heels. He lead by seven. I, I practiced yesterday and, and sat with his dad, Scott, for a long time. And he, and he said, Sean, is, everything feels pretty good. And he knocked the back of the seat when he said that. <laughs> Broken left foot. Here's the steal by McCants right out of Blaine Hunter's hands. McCants with a three on one, and Jackie Manuel will finish it. Yeah, that's, that's Jackie Manuel's game or should be. He really struggled to shoot the ball last year, but in this offense, to get out and run the floor in transition on a turnover is perfect. Nance speeds ahead, loud and blocked by Bolander and May. Here comes Felton. Felton fires the shot from outside, and he's got his first basket of the new season. Carolina now has pumped it up uh, with eight unanswered points. And Blaine Taylor wanted to limit the easy baskets to the extent that he could, and all of a sudden Carolina has opened the floor up. Waller for three outside, past the overplay. Bolander trying to keep the ball alive. Asilius gets it. Here comes Hunter. Hunter loses it on the floor. Felton trying to steer around Nance, and he'll lay it up and off a blocking. No. One official is going to go for the block. The other official says offensive foul. Now they've changed it up, and it is going to be. No, it's offensive foul on Felt. That was a pretty nice hustle by Troy Nance. But I tell you, it all started. Isaiah Hunter has been extremely loose with the basketball these last couple of minutes. Here's the look right here, and Troy Nance giving it up for the team. And Felton limps off. Prompted Roy Williams to come the length of the court to check on the injury. Trainer Mark Davis will accompany him to the sidelines. And Melvin Scott is back into the ballgame. It is Scott, Williams, Bolander, and McCants. It's Sean May getting his first rest of this game. Well, and let's see what happens to North Carolina now in the open floor with Raymond Felton out of the game. I don't think they have anybody else with the speed that he does to push the ball up the floor. Waller feeds ahead. Nice speed to the post, and Lawton breaks the string of eight unanswered points. And he's been pretty good in the preseason, too, Steve. Uh, shooting over 50%. A nice seal that time on Jawad Williams. Foul on Lawton as they tried to get the ball to the high post to Jawad Williams. And you spent some time with uh, Jimmy Corrigan, who's the assistant coach at Old Dominion. This is a team that has been practicing quite a while. They had the benefit of a, a trip to Europe. Yeah, got a 10-day jump on the on the season, and and for we talked about a team with five sophomores and five freshmen was very very beneficial. They went in over to London, were able to get four games in on a semester break or a, a fall break, I should say. 
and a foul on Troy Nance. It's going to be his first, team's fifth. 12.02 left to go here in this first half. Lane Taylor looking on, trying to get his team to hang in with this push that North Carolina seems bent on making. Back out front it is Rashad McCann. Old Dominion in a man to man. Scott McCann leaves his man and gets into the circle and gets the easy basket. Pretty good finish. We talked about the strength. Uh, Lawton actually got a piece of the ball, but uh, McCants able to hold on and get to the rim. 10 to string by North Carolina. Out to the top, Williamson drives. His shot blocked by Scott. Lost out of bounds by Lawton. Or Lawton, rather. We have a timeout. Officials timeout with 11.36 left to go in his first half. Tar Heels make a 10-2 push, and they lead 19-8. North Carolina's outscored Old Dominion 12 to 4 over the last four minutes of this game, and they've done it on the defensive end of the floor. Rashad McCants with the steal right there, Jackie Manuel running the floor, and then the block shot. You pick who did it, Bolander or May, it doesn't matter. It's the first pass for the fast break, and North Carolina has been capitalizing out in the open floor. They are now shooting 70% for the game, Steve Martin. Thank you, Mike Kaminsky. 11.36 left to go in his first half. Raymond Felton rolled his ankle, but he'll be back in the ballgame. Rashad McCants. This pass tipped and finally stolen by Hunter. It was started by Waller. Hunter into front court. Alex Lauten against the man-to-man. -man. Waller trying to get past Melvin Scott. 19 to 8. Takes it down in deep, gets trapped by Bolander and McCants and has to call a timeout. Our Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. You know that no North Carolina head coach have, has ever lost his debut game. 17-0 record. So there's really no pressure on Roy Williams. How about that? Well, that's, you know, 1914, Charles Doak, I mean, he defeated Durham YMCA. I, I Is that the year before your eligibility? Yeah, I lived there for a semester. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, you know, it's been over 60 years, and it may be if we really research hard enough, and I talked to Steve Kirshner, the uh, sports information director of North Carolina about this. And Roy Williams is obviously the first North Carolina native in over 60 years, and maybe longer than that. Be the head coach here at this university. And we talk about the emotion that he's feeling. He, growing up, this was his team. He, his, oh, yeah. he said his dream was not to coach here, but to play here. Yep. And he, and he played on the freshman team, coached by Bill Guthridge, but wasn't good enough to, to move up to the varsity. So he, he saw quickly that his future was going to be sitting on the bench right there. And a whistle and a push on Jackie Manuel. It's going to be his first team second. Yeah, he's a born in Marion, North Carolina, native of. Uh, Brought up in the Asheville area as a restricted earnings coach. He sold basketball calendars and uh, was responsible for getting Dean Smith's coaching show tapes across the state of North Carolina every Sunday morning. John Waller into the lane with a left hand. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound and backs it out again with a fresh clock. Now, Waller is really struggling and they need his offense desperately. Although a nice move that time instead of relying on the jump shot to try to get to the rim. Lou Williamson. Freshman getting his way into the lane. Rebound, Waller turns and misses short. Rebound again, Dahi can't come up with it. He'll come up again and put it in. That was strength by Arno Dahi. Playing with two fouls, too. And Steve, every day, Blaine Taylor works on rebounding. It's a key component for this Old Dominion team. Rolander across the lane, it goes out of the pants. Midway through this first half, Scott, Manuel, McCants, Bolander, and Williams. See a little matchup zone here now by Old Dominion. Manuel to the top of it, 13 on the shot clock, the three is away by the McCants. And the rebound is taken by Jawad Williams, but an over-the-back foul on Arno Dahi is going to send him to the bench for his third. And, and they need his presence inside, but you see the reason Old Dominion wanted to use the zone in this game since they couldn't see a, a Roy Williams coach UNC film last year, they went to his NCAA tournament. And in a game against Utah State in the first round, Kansas really struggled in that game, going, winning 64 to 61, but it was a matchup zone that gave them trouble. So they're using the same thing here. Now, just Vasilius is in the ballgame now. Dahi comes to the bench. Drew Williamson is out. Troy Nance is in for Old Dominion. 
Jackie Manuel to the top. Here's Byron Sanders is in for the first time. Sophomore from Delport, Mississippi, for the Tar Heels. For the post, Sean May back in. Oh, nice move away from Lawton, but a block partly by the equipment, and then Lawton prevented him from getting to the rebound. Hunter all the way in. Offensive foul on Blaine, on Isaiah Hunter. Just seems a little out of control in this game right now. And Byron Sanders, nice job stepping up to take the charge. Manuel just kind of funneled him right to Sanders. That's a 17 foul. However, it's a player control foul at the same time. Lane Taylor. I like how he addresses Carl Hess. You know, that was a good call, but. <laughs> now, here's my, lips. now here's my real point. Yeah. <laughs> Ordered a Denver boot for your call. To the top, May. Raymond Felt back in the ball game. Good sign for North Carolina. Scott against the zone now. Camps looks for an opening. Skip to Scott for three. First triple of the game for either side. 22-10 North Carolina. Uh, Melvin Scott really came on at the end of last year as in an offensive funk in the middle of it But in the postseason 13 of 24 from behind the arc, so he's a very very good outside shooter Waller ball was interfered with it goes in. He's now one for six uh, When you're 0 for 5 you take them any way they come fast break good by Raymond Felton And the foul coming up on Mercy a blocking foul on Mercy now, see, to me, that's a sign of a team that's starting to understand how Roy Williams wants to play. On a made field goal, they push the ball up the floor. Raymond Felton, a one-man fast break, in essence, goes all the way. 8.46 left to play, and Raymond Felton going to the free throw line for a three-point play. Felton, of course, uh, first team All-ACC tournament. 25 games of double-figure scoring. Yeah, I think with, with Jameer Nelson and Chris Thomas, the, the three best point guards in the country. Well, I'd have to give Jameer Nelson a little bit of a nod right now. Reflective pass, now comes to Vasilius. Baseline wall, shot block, gets his own rebound. That was Sanders holding his ground. Isaiah Hunter at the top. To the post, it goes to Vasilius. Vasilius shot blocked by May, taken by Felton. Felton on the high dribble. McCants skip pass to Byron Sanders and he'll take the open jumper. The rebound underneath to May. Sanders says it was an assist. Yeah, see, that's that that was a bad call, Steve. That was a pass all the way. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee he's got an assist in the book. <laughs> assist Derek Wittenberg will be proud of. <laughs> Vasilius has the ball stolen away, but Isaiah Hunter is there to pick it up. Hunter out of Charlotte's Independence High School. In over to Waller, 10 on the shot clock now for the Monarchs. Waller inside, can't get it to go down. May with the rebound, the outlet to McCants. And spades into the corner. Old Dominion now goes back to a man, and now we got a we got a hog wrestling event going on in the paint between Byron Sanders and Valdez Vasilius, and Vasilius picks up the foul. That's going to be his first. It's the team's ninth. And Alex Lawton comes in, and Mercik comes out. I think, you know, you look, right, we talked about Mercik being a work in progress, and, and now they've got two big guys on the floor who are, who are probably their, their most talented with, with Dahi in foul trouble. Lawton, uh, the, you know, the Australian, uh, very poised, good with both hands, also very uh, vocal on the defensive end of the floor. Sanders getting ready for the first of one of one. And he has it. This broadcast is a copyrighted presentation. Any use of it without the express permission of Raycom, Jefferson Pilot Sports, and the ACC is prohibited. This is Sanders step up and knock one down. 54% from the free throw line last year. Sanders got 12 starts for the Heels last year. Has them both. Got a timeout on the floor with North Carolina pushing up the lead. It's now 29-12. Car Heels. We have 7:28 left to go in the first half. What has to happen for the Tar Heels to do well this season? 
we've got to stay healthy, there's no question about that. Last year when Sean May went down, it was a disaster for them. Uh, we've got to make sure that we stay healthy. Uh, we don't have any depth at the point guard spot behind Raymond. We don't have any quality depth with big guys who have proven that they can do it at this level. So there's some big holes that we've got to cover up for. If you tell me I can uh, start the five that I want to start the first game, and uh, they'll start every game throughout the season, I'm going to feel a heck of a lot better. He's got to feel good about a 17-point lead in a non-conference opener. Isaiah Hunter hits the shot from the corner. North Carolina doesn't allow them a victory lap. They go right to the post. May is there. No. And so. and then that, but a nice play out of a timeout. If you're a coach, you're happy your team can come out and execute. Nice pressure release up top. They got the shot for Hunter. Manuel out to his Loughton for the loose ball. And a near Monarch steal. Now he takes his place in the lane. Hangs the layup attempt with the rebound of John Wall. Isaiah Hunter at the point brings it into front court for Old Dominion, a member of the Colonial Athletic Association. Nance, deep three. And when, you, when you're struggling offensively, and you can get that shot anytime. And uh, you, know, you just need to work your offense better. And Old Dominion really got lucky by getting an offensive rebound. We got a whistle and a foul on Tar Heels here, and it's going to be charged to Jackie Manuel. That's going to be his second. But it's only the Team's third. Well, and, and really, I think the difference in this game, the first four minutes, I talked about the looks that Old Dominion was getting at the basket. Those have dried up, but the ball pressure for North Carolina has really picked up in this game. We've got a foul here on Melvin Scott. And that's going to be his first, team's fourth. So a couple of fouls on this possession now. Still six and a half minutes left to go till intermission. North Carolina comfortably in front here by 15. Troy Nance down into front court. His pass ahead for Lawton. A little too confident on the dunk, and he missed it. Here's Felton. Three on through break. It's Manuel in underneath with a nice reverse. Uh, just a, a four-point swing that could have been avoided. Uh, uh, Lawton has been very aggressive in this game, but he's a little too excited that time and clanked it off the back rim. Down in the front court comes Nance. He drops to Loughton, and Loughton goes to backcourt. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta well, make sure on this one. Yeah, 31-16. I don't want to go over the next time out and face coach after that. Played for the Australian 20 and under junior national team. Felton to the top. Here's May. Melvin Scott trying to work his way into the lane against his own. Backs up and hits. Melvin Scott has been pretty effective against the zone. Here's a steal. Sean May doesn't get it, but he's going to the foul line to get two. Troy Nance trying to get everybody on the same page here for Old Dominion. That was just a heads-up play by Raymond Felton. Let's see, who's the foul on? Was it on Loughton? I think it's on Vasilius. Okay. You are correct, sir. Thank you. Sean yes, is. thank you. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> May to the free throw line. Hoping that this year will hold a lot more for him than last year. He has 10. North Carolina is pretty hot now. They're shooting over 60%. T.J. Walden comes in. Ryan Melvin Scott going out for Carolina. Alluding to the fact that May 58% from the free throw line, but in two preseason games, Steve, 9 of 10. I mean, he's he's going to be a good shooter from yep. the free throw line. It's, you know, I don't know if that was freshman or, you know, what jitters or whatever, but uh, he's going to be a 75-plus free throw shooter. 11 points for Sean May. Tar Heels now up. 19 is their lead, biggest of the night. Williamson off to Waller for three. It clanks off the back of the iron. Here comes Felton. Ahead to McCants, who sets, fires a three, and misses. John Waller with a rebound. Drew Williamson will run out for the Monarchs. Monarchs have had a couple of exhibitions. They've been successful in both. Nice pass from Williamson to Nance into Walden. And Jackie Manuel erases what looked to be an easy basket. Well, before he went out last year, Sean May averaged about two blocks a game. But you, even with that, you wouldn't characterize this as a great shot blocking team. It's been a different story tonight. This is the fifth or the sixth block of the game, fifth for North Carolina. Ball will be underneath for Old Dominion, under five to play. Nance off the inbounds for three. Old Dominion has yet to hit a three. Walden comes away with a rebound, and Felton will bat it out of bounds. 
Close captioning for ACC basketball provided by RBC Centura. Building a better bank, one customer at a time. Steve Martin, Mike Jaminski here in Chapel Hill. Glad to be with you here on a Saturday night the start of the Roy Williams era at North Carolina. Here's the shot from the corner by Williamson. Rebound by Junior Lalonde. And the rebound comes away off the block by Bowlander. And if you're Roy Williams, you're not happy with the second shots that Old Dominion is getting, but they haven't, it hasn't hurt them so far. It's Ladonde is in the ball game. Manual to the wing. Felton feeds the post. Slapped away. And Drew Williamson will pick it up for Old Dominion. Going into North Carolina native. Pushes it ahead. Lawton looking to the corner. Here's Lalonde, and he hits the three. Lalonde, pretty good shooter. Uh, they've been, they've, they've continued to hoist up three pointers in an effort to get back to this game, but an offensive foul now on Justin Bolander. That's going to be his first, and for North Carolina, it's going to be their 15 foul. Melvin Scott checks back in. Jackie Manuel comes out. And up the road in Durham, the Duke Blue Devils, who fell down 12 0 at the start of that game, and came back and beat. Detroit 67 56. You know, it's, it's similar to the, the game by UConn opened up at home against Yale and was behind at the half. Vasilius drives the lane and the basket will not count, but there is a foul coming up on Sean May. And we have a timeout on the court with 3.55 left to go. May picking up his first team foul number six for North Carolina. Vasilius going to the line when we come back and North Carolina leading the Monarchs of Old Dominion 35 19 about you and reflects on your school so be responsible take care of yourself and your friends a message from Anna and heiser bush no doubt that's happening over the campus of duke university after they safely brought the victory bell home today oh boy it hasn't been there in a while has it yeah i think they had a foundation and case made for it over here <laughs> 15 years is it 13. Rashad mccants with the steal from drew williamson he steals it right back Ladonde bringing it down to the front court. Here comes Walden with the attempt to dunk, and McCants stripped him. Roy Williams talked about Rashad McCants and the fact that his defense had to get better this year, and he has done a terrific job in this first half. Anybody could have given up on this play, but look at the hustle coming from behind and getting oh, the block. Oh. On the way up. Ladonde out front. It goes to Nance. He'll try it again. Lance tries to get it inside. Ball deflected. I think May got a hand on it. He'll get it back with a toss from Felton, and McCants gets it in. There, just, there's, there's nothing working for Old Dominion right now. Uh, and when they attack the basket, they get their shot blocked, or they turn it over, and they can't make three-point shots. So there's really nothing in the offense that's going well right now. 37-19. Ladonde has the ball slapped away. Here comes Nance, and a foul is going to charge to Raymond Felton. That is two on Felton, seven on the team. And the bonus coming on here for Old Dominion. Getting ready to check in. Jawad Williams coming back into the ball game. John Waller is back in for Old Dominion, and Williamson and Walden go out. And Isaiah Hunter is back in for the Monarchs. Felton will come to the sideline. Well, and it looks like, Steve, at least early on, uh, it's going to be a seven man rotation for North Carolina with yeah. uh, Bolander and Manuel coming off the bench. They're going to. Try to wait until uh, David Noel comes back. He's doing about six more weeks, so probably right about the start of the ACC season. Yeah. Thumb injury that was suffered in practice and just suffered about two weeks ago. Now, Byron Sanders occasionally gets a look, but you know, I think you're right. It's going to look like a seven-man rotation. Second shot by Nance, just like the first, so he's got a pair. Nance, who was the starting point guard a year ago for Old Dominion and was third in the Colonial Athletic Association in assists, takes a seat. He's a senior. There aren't many on this line. Against the zone, North Carolina with it. Melvin Scott out at the top. Baltimore, Maryland, Jr. And what North Carolina wants to do is they want to attack the high post and the short corner in this zone. Manuel looking toward that short corner to May. Now back to the high post. It goes through McCann's hands and into the hands of our cameraman at midcourt. And that is the ninth turnover for the Tar Heels. 
But that's that's where they want to try to get the ball. Uh, usually in the zone, bad things happen if you're able to receive the ball there. But uh, Williams just made a hot pass and the can't couldn't handle. Isaiah Hunter to the top of the floor. Uh, Lawton with him. The aggressiveness of Scott trying to battle through that situation. A kick to Waller. And Waller throws it out of bounds. Yeah. John Waller really shaking in this game. One of nine in the half from the outside. Of course, Jack Emanuel, that type of defensive player, uh, has gotten up in him, and uh, he lost his confidence early from the outside and has never regained it. A senior from Richmond, Virginia. Pants comes into the lane against the zone, stops and kicks it back to May. We're, we're approaching the two-minute mark here in this first half. Can't slide through the screen and roll. The ball lost out of bounds and last touch by McCants as Vasilis played good defense there. You know, you talk to the coaching staff of Old Dominion and, and they were, uh, Blaine Taylor brought him into the huddle, in the huddle last night at the end of practice. They looked around, looked up at the rafters, and he, he tried to not let them be intimidated by this place. And he, he looked up and he said, fortunately, none of those guys are going to be playing tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter down to the foul to the baseline. He's trapped with his back to the basket thanks to the good defense by Melvin Scott. Now Williams is playing tight D on Lawton. And Lawton gets inside and is fouled by Jawad Williams. That'll be his first, team's eighth. And one and one coming up now for Alex Lawton. But the follow-up point to that is that, uh, you know, maybe a sense that the, the foreign players would react better to this environment because they didn't grow up with North Carolina and the, and the sneak. You know, I, Isaiah Hunter is, is from North Carolina. He knows what this is all about. And it could be a little overwhelming for him, and he's had turnovers in this game. Latin misses the front half of the one-on-one. Sean May secures the rebound. Melvin Scott down in the front court. May at the top, calls out the play. Man to man, it looks like a matchup. Here's McCants with the jumper, doesn't go. Ladonde comes away with the rebound. Colin Jr., real name's Abdi Ladonde. Shot doesn't go. May boards the miss. All right, a quiz. What do you think his dad's name is? <laughs> Senior? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or Abdi Abdi. I don't know. <laughs> Manual. At the top. Dribbles through. He's got a whistle away from the action as Melvin Scott hits the deck. And the foul is going to be charged to Alex Lauten. And that is the second on the second on Lauten. That is two on Alex Lauten. So they've got Dahi in trouble with three. Now Lauten with two with 101 left to play. Melvin Scott misses a two-shot foul. That's the 10th team foul now for Old Dominion. And that's a part of each game that's uh, it's a little uh, mysterious. He's such a good shooter from the outside, but only 54% from the free throw line last year. Troy Nance comes in. Ladonde comes out. Rayshon Terry, true freshman out of Winston-Salem, is on the floor now. Went to R.J. Reynolds High School in Winston-Salem. North Carolina now 6 for 8 from the stripe. Leading comfortably here. Scott missed them both. But Williams keeps it alive. And the Tar Heels have it back. Shard McCants creates some room with a dribble, but can't get it to go. Ball batted right back to him, and he takes it in and gets fouled by Vasilius. That's two on Vasilius. Nice aggressive play by Rashad McCants, staying after it. Isaiah Hunter, instead of getting a body on him outside, turned around and looked at the ball, and that allowed McCants to get the offensive rebound, and then he was more aggressive with it on the second shot. The Lithuania product actually has three fouls, and so he's getting ready to come out. North Carolina is fanned on three straight foul shots. Nursik comes back in along with Drew Williamson. The North Carolina coaching staff has some familiar names on it. Of course, Joe Holliday, longtime assistant for Roy Williams in Kansas. Steve Robinson is on it, former head coach of Florida State. Can't stop the foul shot missing streak here at North Carolina. 38, there's Holiday. And Jared Haas, who coaches the JV team. C.B. McGrath is the administrative assistant. Marcic over to Waller, and Waller with a shot that might just kind of unchain him a little bit. Yeah, give him a little positive feeling going into the second half. You know, I think if you're playing Taylor, 38 points for North Carolina at home. You're not 
You're not too uh, unhappy with your defensive performance here. It's a North Carolina team that's pretty gigged up here. Yep. I mean, the emotions are running high in this hall. This is a sellout game. It's just not another, as you said, non-conference open. Melvin Scott walks the clock down here. We're under 10 seconds to play. Rayshon Terry swings the ball to Scott. Scott finds a shooter in the lane. That's McCants, and he puts it in. McCants has 11 in the first half will come to an end as the Tar Heels have a successful opening at least for the first 20 minutes under new head coach Roy Williams leading the Monarchs of Old Dominion at intermission 40 to 23 more from the Smith Center in Chapel Hill after this. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Chick-fil-A by Aquafina And for the weather here in Chapel Hill, and we're ready to start the second half. Steve Martin along with Mike Jabensky at the Dean Smith Center. The beginning of the Roy Williams era, and there's a man who sat on the bench with Roy Williams as assistance to Dean Smith, Eddie Folkville, of course. Eddie recruited me out of high school, believe it or not. I mean, that's why he looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> it is Loughton, Troy Nance, Vasilius. Isaiah Hunter and John Waller in the ball game now for Old Dominion to start the second half. The alley oop attempt for Lawton is stolen by Rashad McCants. He tries to get Gerard Williams up floor and as a blocking foul is going to be charged. And this one's going to be to Troy Nance inside. Already the fourth steal of the game for Rashad McCants. He has been outstanding on the defensive end of the floor. Steve, you know, I think the same keys hold hold true here. I think North Carolina wants to put this game away early here in the second half and I think your Old Dominion play it in four minute segments. Go to the TV timeouts and try to win each segment. Well they're on the verge of losing this segment thanks to Jawad Williams putting that shot in. His first basket of the night. He averaged almost 15 points a game a year ago. 42-23 North Carolina tying its biggest lead. 19. Williams, McCants, May, Scott, and Felton in the lineup for Roy Williams. Rebound Vasilius will put the stick back up and in. Really player from Lithuania. Vasilius makes it 42-25. Still an ill-advised shot in uh, Isaiah Hunter going sideways and had to put up a contested jumper from the long range. Scott sees Williams floating along the baseline and he'll put it in. Back-to-back -back baskets by Jawad Williams on a beautiful feed by Raymond Felton makes it 44-25. Who did not even score in the first half. No. Didn't, didn't even attempt the shot. Silius at the high post. Nance drives the lane. Pushes it across to Isaiah Hunter for three. It rattles out. And I misses that, but a better shot. They work yeah. through the offense, get a nice skip pass, and he gets an open look. Scott's pass to the corner interrupted by John Waller and knocked out of bounds. Waller, one of the three returning starters for Lane Taylor's team. Two guys who aren't here, though, Ricardo Marsh, Rashid Wright, accounted for 32 points last year. Two senior bookend forwards, and they really relied on them heavily. Heavy action away from the ball this time, and another foul coming up against Old Dominion. And the foul is going to be charged. No, it's going to be to North Carolina. Jawad Williams picking up his second. First team foul, but it's a turnover. You know, talking to the coaching staff, they say Valdez Vasilius is a guy who can get under your skin. Um, you know, like a lot of foreign players, yeah, maybe a little dirty, maybe a little grab, and that's what Jawad Williams just said to the referee right there, but they say that he knows how to play that way and get away with it. And now we've got another foul coming up. Well, the ball just lost out of bounds. No, no foul, just contact. And the ball went out off North Carolina. Going to be Old Dominion bringing it back in. To Vasilius, but Hunter gets the loose ball. Waller for three. Oh, nice shot. Waller with the left hand. He's got seven. He started with that jump shot at the end of the first half. Uh, basket starting to open up for Waller. Here's May with a nice turnaround on Lock. Beautiful shot by Sean May. 46-28. Just great footwork inside. Got the nice little jump hook. Or if he turns over the left shoulder and the jump shot the other way. Isaiah Hunter from the corner. Rebound tipped. And now taken by May. It's a three-on-one North Carolina break. McCants to May for the lay-in off the glass. 
Well, I tell you what, McCants has been a defensive star, and he's been unselfish in this game as well. Nice to see him reward May for the play down the other end and the hustle up the floor. Oftentimes, Matt Doherty had to chide Rashad McCants for his lack of defense last year. Benched him a couple of times, but uh, he's shown not only can he play defense, but he's willing to give up the ball as well. Here's the weapon we talked about the, the skills that May has. And if you want to get it back, you have to give it up on the break. And May did that. He got it out of his hands early and got the return pass. Look at the assist to field goal. It tells you how efficient the offense is running. Tar Heels have assisted on all but five field goals. Old Dominion on half of theirs. The foul on Vasilius is his fourth, and he has to come out. Dahi, who has three, comes in. Loughton steals the pass intended for Williams. Here comes Nance in the front court for Old Dominion. Nance, deep three. And a foul. Loose ball foul over the back. Alex Loughton picking this one up. 6 9 from Perth, Australia. It's going to be three on him. And the big people are in trouble, with the exception of Mercic. You know, I, I think they had to go away from him because the game is just too up tempo uh, at 270 pounds He can't get up and down the floor and run with North Carolina But at least uh, you know Blaine Taylor's got the option of a little depth uh, up front this year that he didn't have last year Third team foul here on Old Dominion Three minutes into the second half North Carolina up by 20 their biggest margin McCants Felton will take it over again Raymond Felton, nice move into the lane, up and under for two. No. Rolls out Loughton. The equipment denied Raymond Felton. Now a scrum for the ball. Hunter blindly throws it to Loughton. Here's Williamson in underneath and a block by Rashad McCants, who gets it off. Williamson's foot and out of bounds. And the crowd on its feet acknowledging the play of Rashad McCants. Let's look at it inside. Williamson trying to go up, and that was great hustle to come from the weak side. McCants has a couple of blocks in this game so far. The team, North Carolina, with seven. And the Tar Heels looking to build on a 20-point lead. Waller comes to the sidelines. And LaDonde comes in. LaDonde, a Kenyon. That is high school ball in Sutton, Massachusetts. Down low. Turn around by May is good, and he's hot. He's hit six points here in the second half, and North Carolina's lead is now 22. It's been nice, uh, nice to watch him work on the right block in this half, and he's shown that he can go both ways, so it makes it tough for the defender to play him. Dahi looking inside. The corner to LaDonde. Now Isaiah Hunter back to the post. Dahi with pretty good footwork and a foul coming up. On North Carolina, it's going to be on Jawad Williams, and that's quickly his third. Yeah, and that's, you know, you, you look, if there's one place where Old Dominion has a strength advantage, it's in that matchup, and they were smart to get the ball into Dahi, and he made a nice aggressive move, although he's playing with three fouls as well. Going out of the ball game, Melvin Scott coming in, Jackie Manuel. Well, you see the switch now that Sean May is going to match up against Dahi, and they've... Uh, They've got uh, Williams, will, will probably, he's on a switch right now, but we'll mostly play Lawton. Isaiah Hunter out front. Ball knocked away by McCants. He's all over the play. LaDonde and lost the ball. Went to turn around into Juan Williams and just skittered the ball out of bounds. North Carolina pushing that lead ever bigger. Now 22, 50 to 28 at this time out. For Ohio native and Tar Heel junior Jawad Williams as North Carolina heads to Ohio to take on the Vikings from Cleveland State. Live from the Convocation Center, game time again, 4 o'clock right here on your Raycom Jefferson Pilot Sports Station. Vikings uh, first-year staff, really. Mike Garland taking over after a seven-year tenure as an assistant to Tom Izzo at Michigan State. There's Jawad Williams with four points in this game, all here in the second half. And then uh, Michigan State won in 2000. Their first round game were played at Cleveland State. Oh, there are all kinds of ties to this one, aren't there? <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Rashad McCants, guarded by Loughton, takes a three-pointer from the top. No, and a foul on the elbow by Loughton is going to be his fourth, and it sends Rashad McCants up to the line for a three-point foul shot. And, and Blaine Taylor has just beside himself you got a guy you need in the ball game, and he 
picks up his fourth foul. 20 feet from the basket on a jump shot. Carolina on the line for the 12th and 13th and 14th times tonight. They are 7 out of 11. Rashad McCants with 11 points. He already had at halftime five assists. McCants with 12. Really, if, 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 if you ask people up here, probably the person he's been toughest on in practice is Rashad McCants. Yeah. Uh, he's and he's been very vocal publicly about what he expects from him, especially on the defensive end of the floor. And uh, if this game is any indication, Rashad McCants is paying attention. He has played extremely well. Lawton comes out with his fourth. Yanko Mercik is in. Here's McCants for one more. The talented sophomore from Asheville, North Carolina. 14 points. 53-28, North Carolina in the lead comfortably here in the second half. Drew Williamson. Get around the top. Williamson, an accomplished football player, tries to slip into the post. Mercer can't hang on. Manuel steals. Fountain's on his way. Seven points for Raymond Felton, and it's 55-28, North Carolina. Ball stolen again by Manuel. Felton tries to pick it up. He and Mercer arrive at the same time. Sean May sends McCants. McCants up to Manuel for two more. Right, the beautiful thing about what they're doing right now, everybody can get assists. I think Raymond Felton only has one assist in this game, but if you get on the break, everybody has to pass, and uh, Blaine Taylor needs to. Timeout coming. The Tar Heels have stretched the lead to nearly 30. 57-28, five minutes into the second half in Chapel Hill. We're back to live action here, Williamson. In the front court. Isaiah Hunter has it. Back to the top, LaDonde finds Dahi in the post. Shot has a little flatness to it, and LaDonde loses the ball out of bounds. Melvin Scott and Justin Bolander getting back in now for North Carolina. Yeah, it was a flat shot, and, and, you know, Old Dominion looking for the call there, but they're not going to get it, not just because it's an away game, but because North Carolina has established themselves inside physically on the, on the defensive end of the floor. North Carolina shooting seven out of eight here in the second half, and that's why their 17-point lead has grown to 28. 29. May at the top to McCants. It's around Mercic to the elbow and takes the jump shot. I see, you know, if you can involve Mercic in screen rolls, especially away from the floor, he's just he can't move his feet quick enough and they got an open jump shot out of it. Cants turned the corner and shot his 16th point of the night. 59-28, North Carolina up there. Williamson will throw it away. Wayne Taylor's coming in with wholesale substitutions. He'll change three players right now. He'll take Dahi, Hunter, and Ladonde out. And bring in Waller, Walden, and Nance. 17 turnovers now for Old Dominion. Now five points in the first six and a half minutes for Old Dominion in this half. We talked about North Carolina wanting to go for the knockout blow early. I think it's been delivered. Yeah. Scott at the elbow. Rebound, Jack Emanuel. And Manuel gets fouled as he got ready to go back up. You know, earlier I talked about Manuel getting out in the open floor. That's another part of his game that is really sound. He is a very good offensive rebounder for this team. 15 foul against Old Dominion. Sitting with Phil Ford watching practice yesterday. Uh, he was singing the praises of Jackie Manuel, as has Roy Williams done. He said he's had a, a great couple of weeks in practice. Well, Manuel has been to this point labeled as a very good defensive player, but we're seeing him be able to receive the ball at the end of defensive plays made by teammates. He's been able to work the break. He's been able to get offensive rebounds, but really has struggled at the free throw line. Two exhibition games, three of 12, and missed the two there. Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Drew Williamson on the sideline to Walden at the top. Drops it down to Troy Nance, who's looking for Mercic in the post, and McCants nearly steals it from him. And McCants continues to impress with the pressure he's putting on the ball. 
Well, that's, a, you know, that's the thing. Troy Nance is trying to feed the post, but uh, he's giving away about three or four inches to McCants, and he just couldn't see. And uh, McCants acted with his hands. It's very tough to make an entry play. Oh, man. Look at Maryland. 51-10 over America. Our condolences to Dan Bonner and crew up in. <laughs> <laughs> the College Park, Comcast Center. We've had games like that. Oh, yes, we have. 59-28. Carolina is cruising toward that territory right now. Impressive showing here on opening night for Roy Williams. It looks so natural to see Roy Williams on the Carolina sideline. May finds McCants. Into the paint, drops to Bolander for the jump shot. That's partially blocked by Walden and taken now by Mercer. Nance drives it in the front court. The corner shot by Waller for three. Rebounded by Mercek, but it's taken by Melvin Scott. Scott steers the break quickly. Drives around to the defender. Takes it inside. Here's Bolander fouled by Troy Nance as he tried to get up it in. Three fouls on Troy Nance. Okay, North Carolina has up and down the lineup. Everybody who's been in the game has been very unselfish, willing to make the extra pass, and not an extra pass that's going to put them in a bad situation, but it's usually been to somebody for a better shot. Bolander going to the free throw line. North Carolina continues out of conference on Monday night. They go to Davidson. They actually go to Charlotte and play in the Charlotte Coliseum against Davidson College. Marsick, Walden, and Williamson come out. Lawton is back in. Ladonde and Vesuvius. Bob McKillop always does a great job with the team down in Davidson. They actually came into this building a couple of years ago and beat North Carolina. Yes, they did. Olander makes it 60 to 28. North Carolina on top. Davidson there. By Texas Tech in the preseason NIT. Ball knocked out of bounds. Well, it, you know, Davidson got in, 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 in going down to Lubbock. They got caught in the Houston airport and actually had to sleep there until uh, 4 in the morning and finally got down uh, to game to the game about 13 hours before the tip. I like to face Bobby Knight under those conditions. <laughs> it, it showed they shot about 30% for the game and had 20 plus turnovers. Jackie Manuel drives inside and this one goes in. Nice move by Jackie Manuel. He's got eight. The West Palm Beach Junior. And then and, and then Bob McKillop fired his travel agent <laughs> soon thereafter. <laughs> Troy Nance into the corner. Ladonde's pass deflected. Nance will get it again. Ladonde for three. Well, the Kenyan has a uh, very little conscience, and he's got good shooting skills. Well, he comes in cocked and ready, so uh, only one of four uh, last year shooting from the behind the arc, so he's extended his range. Bolander's shot won't go in. Vasilius will get the rebound. Up court quickly. Ladonde again. And it comes out wide to Williams. North Carolina now we're running up quickly. Three on three break. Melvin Scott tees one up. Melvin Scott with a nice fadeaway for nine. 64 31 North Carolina. I think now the, the pace of the game really starting to wear on Old Dominion. Here's Lau down the lane, gets past Bolander. Manuel skies for the rebound and keeps it alive enough for Melvin Scott. Three on two break. Ahead to Jawad Williams, 66-31. Well, you know they were Old Dominion's trying to practice at a fast pace last night, but it's very tough to replicate what North Carolina has done here in this game. Inside, Lawton takes it to the baseline and scores over Manuel. That's his first basket of the second half. Still a pretty wide lead. North Carolina has doubled the score on the Monarchs. Last year they played in Norfolk at the Constant Convocation Center and. Uh, North Carolina won by 11. Rotten is followed. And actually, you know, I talked to, to, I'm talking to Blaine Taylor last night. Uh, really, North Carolina did them a favor last year. They went up and opened their new building up. They went on the road, played that game, and he said they really had a lot of class, you know, all up and down the organization. 
So they called in turn and said, would you be in our first game coming out this year? And, you know, he, he knew what that was all about. But uh, he said, you know, they were so gracious with us last year, I thought it was the right thing to do. So give him a lot of credit for, for coming down here and scheduling this game. Loughton comes out now with his sixth, his fifth foul. Vance, or rather Nance and Vasulius are out. So Blaine Taylor just going to whatever combination will work to try to whittle down this lead a little bit as we're halfway through the second half. Rod Williams. It's the front half of a one and one. That's the 17 foul now on Old Dominion. Williams makes it two in a row. He's got eight ball here in the second half. Watch this alley oop. Felton to Jawad Williams for two, and the Tar Heels have a 35 point lead at home. Now, by that score, the indications are it's off to a pretty good start. No, no question. Uh, it's funny. It's, uh, of course, Rust. You know, first game jitters everything in those first four minutes, but then they really settled down and, and to shake loose out of it, they really turned up the defensive intensity, and that really got them into the flow of the game. Alvin Scott picks up the foul. It's going to be his second. Uh, you know, we had a comment from Roy about what he might be thinking as he walked out on the court. I wonder what he really was thinking when he when he heard the standing ovation as he came out of the tunnel. That's really something to see. No, I, I, well, I, I think I think he really knew another steal by Scott. That there is no way he could anticipate how he's going to feel. Yeah. So, uh, the best part of that is to get it behind him, get this first game over with, and then move on with the business of basketball. Scott on top. Here comes Felton for the three pointer. And trying to save it is Byron Sanders, but he can't in time. And that's going to be a change. Here's Roy Williams. This is how it looks. Crowd up and cheering. He's got some T-shirts now. He had in mind he wanted something to do right off quick. He's gonna throw some T-shirts into the student section, and that looks like that's gonna be a game tradition for North Carolina. I think there should be a couple for the announcers here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're always into free stuff, aren't we? <laughs> and then when Roy came away from the student section, the the noise got even louder as he made his way to the bench and he acknowledged the cheers of the fans. Is there any other kind of stuff? Besides free stuff. <laughs> no, I don't think in our not in our budget. No, really. Waller off the glass twice. Dahi gets his shot spanked by Sanders. Here comes Scott. On the run, one on one with Ladonde, and he'll score. Scott with eleven. North Carolina's got it all in fourth gear now. Yeah, it's you know, it's pretty astounding that they've played at this pace throughout the first game and it, it's it's uh, you really have to be conditioned to do that for 40 minutes and the fact that they bought into it this early is pretty impressive now he loses the handle on the ball Melvin Scott has it again seeing eye pass to Williams for the lay-in 10 points for Jawad Williams 72 33 North Carolina and especially if you're a big who can run you're really going to flourish in this system and then some people might have had a question about whether Sean May could play, but uh, he has done very, very well. Certainly, I would think Jawad Williams can get up and down the floor. And, uh, you know, if I'm Sean May, all I have to do is go back last year and watch film and Nick Collison and say, that's me, if I want it to be. Yeah, well, he's got the physique for it. He's dropped a lot of weight. Looks great. Yeah. Felton has just picked up his third foul, by the way. May comes in and then slaps the ball away. And now they got a trap going on Hunter. Mercic ahead. Dahi. Hunter looking inside. Our Hills show it up on defense again. The Dominion hasn't gotten below the foul line. And there's a nice three-pointer by John Waller, his second of the second half. One of the few good looks that he's had, and he had to switch that time on May, who didn't come out to challenge. Cantz had the ball slapped away. He looked at some of his own medicine that time. Isaiah Hunter, the sophomore from Charlotte. Down inside goes to Dahi. Ball loose. And he has it tapped out of bounds by Jawad Williams. And Valdez Vasilius getting ready to check back in. But the North Carolina Tar Heels have got the pedal to the metal. And they lead 72-36. One field goal attempt. North Carolina with 18 assists and their 27 field goals. Defensive numbers are pretty impressive. Eight blocks and ten steals for wow. North Carolina. Arno Darhi with the ball to the point. Here's Isaiah Hunter's three ball. Doesn't go. Waller and a crowd rebounds and puts it in. 
Waller with 12. That's about the only bright light that the Old Dominion has had, the offensive glass and second chance opportunities. Waller with eight of his 12 points coming here after halftime. McCants turns around and delivers that little turnaround jumper. You know, they talk about big guys working in the post. I think in this offense, you're going to see a lot of Rashad McCants down in the low block. He is a very strong player down there. Coming around the screen and taking that pretty little jumper. Nice. Uh, Waller again inside with 14. Here comes Sean May. Only his second miss tonight. Dahi with the rebound. Hunter turns to the lane from the elbow. He's got it. Isaiah Hunter's first basket of the second half. So we're racing to a conclusion here, under seven to play. Melvin Scott. <laughs> and Roy Williams just looked at Melvin Scott and said, that better go in. He, <laughs> he did not like that shot. You didn't have the board coverage you wanted. No, and especially you've just missed in your two prior possessions. You want to work the offense and get something good. LaDonde over the pants. Nice three-pointer by LaDonde. That's his third of the game 76 45 may inside and it's knocked out of bounds by ahi and it's or dahi and it's going to be off sean may now roy williams wants to get things back on the same page Had a short 30 second time out here taken old dominions now hit their last four field goals and there's the timeout reset next saturday more ACC basketball here from Raycom Sports and Jefferson Pilot Sports. We follow the Tar Heels to Cleveland State. Why Cleveland State? Well, that's the general area of Jawan Williams' hometown. And so that game's scheduled for his benefit. And uh, we'll see a Cleveland State team coached by Mike Garland. And you'll see it at 4 o'clock on many of these same stations. And in the background, you see uh, Roy Williams venting a little bit. It's a great situation if you're a coach. You've got a 30-point lead. But it's a teaching opportunity to talk about your team and not letting up. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the, the hole is just a little too deep for Old Dominion. But you've got to give them credit. Uh, Blaine Taylor's got his team playing hard. They've got guys diving on the floor, and then they're not quitting. Dean Smith called Roy Williams the complete package as a coach. Organizational skills, teaching skills, passion for the game, attention to detail. All Carolinas now. Mercy. After two courtings, TJ Walden on the wing. Isaiah Hunter takes it to the baseline against the trap. The ball knocked out of there by Williams. Hunter trying to recover. He's got it, took it from his own teammate, and Tar Heels get it away. Jack Emanuel is there, steering the break into front court. Inside. Nice cut by Jack Emanuel. And you heard that echo out from the sideline as well. May with the feed. Emmanuel now with 10 points. Yeah, you know, the best basketball is the simplest basketball. Just a little nice post feed and then basket cut. North Carolina running again. Nice pass. McCants to Jawad Williams. A seeing eye pass that exploded at the feet of Williams. He was able to pick it up and score 80 45. And, and a great catch and a nice job running the floor by Williams. Oh, nice shot drive by Isaiah Hunter of Old Dominion. Pace hasn't quieted down. Jackie Emanuel scores. And this is the type of game the fans love to see. 82-47. Lots of end-to-end -end play, and right now, Old Dominion's going to take a timeout. It's going to be a short timeout, a 30-second timeout here at the 5-10 mark. North Carolina leading here, 82-47. Well, they really kind of pumped this program up with Roy Williams return to North Carolina and to talk about the chemistry there Rashad McCants comes out to the a late night with Roy Williams well the, the unfortunate side effect is oh, you know, look at that David Noel yeah, <laughs> but then you'll see why uh, Roy didn't take any Arthur Murray classes <laughs> while he was here in school but having fun with it nonetheless and the crowd having fun enjoying him coming back and now Roy Williams on the bench it's all business now the dancing's done. It's time to get down to kind of rebuilding this program. Uh, for so many years, from 1964 to 2001, North Carolina never finished lower than third in the ACC standings. And to have two back-to-back -back sixth and seventh place showings,
Really went down pretty hard here in Chapel Hill. Well, you know, in fairness to Matt Doherty, uh, you know, he knew he was going to be bad in his second year, but 8 and 20, I think, was just yeah. too shocking to people here. After winning their first 16 games of his the, first year. The year before. And then also, you know, for a lot of programs, 19 and 16 in the well, NIT is okay. And he knew he was going to be in a rebuilding phase, but that, you know, it just it, it didn't get it done. No, nope, doesn't cut it here. This is going to be a full time out now, I believe. Looks like they're going to send him the bench for that. With 504 left to play. Well, this is the this is the legacy, the dynasty that Roy Williams has to step into. But you know, he was part of those as an assistant coach from 1978 to 1988 when he took over the program at Kansas. Those two flags that we're zeroing in on, he was a part of as an assistant, along with. And if, along with Eddie Fogler and Bill Guthridge. And, and you know, this, just the way the timing of the whole thing, when, uh, you know, I think everybody thought that Roy was going to say yes the first time around. And when he said no, there was a scramble mode, and, and they hired Matt, and Matt had only been a head coach for one year on a college level at a major program, and it, it might have been a little overwhelming for him to come back. Look at the career record. 418 and 101 at Kansas, third all-time winning as coach in Division One, and he spent 10 years as an assistant on Dean Smith's bench. First as a restricted earnings coach and to supplement his income he sold those school calendars those North Carolina basketball calendars. I, I bought a house in Charlotte and it had a utility shed on the back of it with a tree house attached. Walked up into the tree house the day we closed staring at my face a 1981 North Carolina basketball calendar likely sold by Roy Williams. <laughs> North Carolina 82 Old Dominion 47 504 left to go here in Chapel Hill Steve Martin along with Mike Jaminski Lou Williamson a freshman from Burnison to Hunter two North Carolina guards playing for Old Dominion Bolander with a rebound now. Felton has the ball tapped away and a foul coming up on Hunter team over the limit that's the 18th foul so we go one and one at the North Carolina end of the basket Mercy coming out. Vasilius is in. And Dahi is back in. Walden is up. We talked about the accolades, Steve, at the, at the uh, Operation Basketball. Uh, he was, uh, Raymond Felton picked the preseason player of the year in a lot of All American teams. Talked about him and Jameer Nelson, uh, great guard up at St. Joe's. He almost had a triple double against Gonzaga to open the year. And Chris Thomas coming back to, to Notre Dame. Uh, I think you have to look at those three yeah. as, as kind of the elite of that position. Felton makes a pair of free throws, has nine for the night. Felton was third team All ACC, but his first team All ACC tournament action. 84 47. Vasilius from the outside. Rebound kept alive by Dahi and lost by the Tar Heels out of bounds. Williams getting set to check back in, and here comes Ladonde. Abdi, or you can call me Junior, Ada Ladonde. Williams so far, 5 or 5, 12 points. Manuel, 6 or 7, 12 points. North Carolina shooting percentage starting to get unrealistic here. Williams out front. Dahi for 3. About inside. Ladonde stripped by Bolander. Felton into front court. On the wing, Scott for 2. Uh, so that's a good shot, and Roy Williams is going to be happy with that. And a good push up the floor, catch it in rhythm, and knock it down. 86-47. By the way, you know we got a you know Rudy Marks who gives out his hustle award every Monday. I got to give him, I got to give my hustle award to you. Calling a football game this afternoon, flying down here. <laughs> Somebody should know about that. Get your agent on that right now. My wife knows about <laughs> it. <laughs> She's none too happy. Inside it goes to Williams off the side of the rim. Well, it was fun today. Dave Burchett and I have had quite a day, our director. Yeah, you get the corporate plane. Oh, it was yeah. fun. I don't know if anybody's supposed to know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Timeout on the court with 3.41 left to play here. North Carolina leading Old Dominion. And Roy Williams' first game is Tar Heel head coach. ACC basketball provided by RBC Centura, building a better bank one customer at a time. Play comes back in quickly here. Damian Price is in the ball game now. Senior walk on from Greensboro. There's Nance, 325 left to play. 
No question as to the outcome of this game. It's just the final margin. Vasilius for three in the corner. He's got seven. Rayshon Terry. Rayshon Terry out of Winston-Salem scores. 88-53. Back the other way. Ladonde. <laughs> Pretty good aggressive move by uh, Terry. He's been a little lost here early on. Not unusual for a freshman. Not lost here on the baseline. Won't go in for him. Certainly giving himself a chance here. <laughs> yeah. First two possessions. And nobody's nervous right now. That's for sure. Williamson for three out front. And Drew Williamson scores the three. First basket of the night. 88 56 with two and a half minutes left to play as we are coasting through this second half. Bolander steers around Vasilius, and we got a whistle and a travel violation. One guy we haven't talked about, and you talk about a seven man rotation, but it'll go to eight when this man becomes eligible again. David Noel, he's forcing that injury on the thumb. Had such a, had such a great year last year as a walk on. With North Carolina had some big games in the middle of the year, but uh, came on strong at the end of the season. Career high 21 points, 12 rebounds against DePaul. Very explosive in the open floor. They certainly miss him. Uh, Roy Williams talked about how hard he had worked uh, to adapt to this system in the preseason. Tore a ligament in his thumb in, in a practice, and they expect him back in early January. It's the time for the heart of the ACC campaign. Williamson down low. And knocks the ball off Philip Lamb, who's a senior walk on from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's out of bounds. 32 point lead here for the Tar Heels. Rather comfortable with 2.06 left to play. Inbounds pass quickly comes in to Vasilius. He's got nine. And now Damian Price will run the point. Into the ball game as well, Jonathan Miller. Hooker is also into the ball game now. C.J. Hooker, junior from Palmer, Alaska, for North Carolina. That's number 35. He's trying to post up inside. So the reserves battle it out here for North Carolina toward the end. Damian Price inside. Rayshon Terry. Vasilius goes for the rebound, and the ball is knocked out of bounds by North Carolina. Let's take a look at our Pepsi players of the game. John Waller came alive in the second half at uh, 14 points, 10 after intermission. Rashad McCants, 18 points, 8 assists, and numerous steals. Remember, if he, had, he had a big game, his, his first game as a freshman last year, Steve. 26 points set the record. Uh, um, you know, made a big splash there, but did it in a much more mature and different way in this game. Scoring there, but assists, the defense, everything. He was the total package. Several blocks. Ladonde got a three-pointer last time down. We're in the final minute of play. Ladonde again. Hey, why not? Tell you what. He's only going to get a chance to play on the Smith Center every so often. Probably his only chance here, and he's making the best of it. 88-64. Final minute on Roy Williams' first game as head coach at North Carolina ticks away. And it's been a successful unveiling. McLam from the wing. Oh, lost out of bounds, but he's still, he's still coaching hard here, and he's also working the officials. Too. Well, and he, you know, it's, by the way, he's, he's self. He said, "I'm, I'm the most competitive person I know." Somebody brought up the name Jordan, and he said, "I'll take my chances." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the mindset. Bryce looking inside, back out here. This is Jonathan Miller for three. Lamb touches the rebound, and we're a half minute away from putting this one in the books. As North Carolina will win their season opener under Roy Williams. And look forward to a couple more non-conference spots here in the next week. Dahi tried to go behind the back. Roy Williams will retrieve the ball. And now he's, he's, he's working over Jerry Heater pretty hard. Well, and he said what he's saying is I want the same calls for these guys here. I know they're not my starters, but it's, uh, it's still basketball. 13 seconds left to go. Price, Jonathan Miller out front. Screen and roll, and Miller tries to put the capping on the night. And the crowd always likes it when the reserves come in and score. There's the final play of the game. Roy Williams congratulates Blaine Taylor. Thanks him for coming down. And the North Carolina Tar Heels prevail by a score of 90 to 64 the final in Chapel Hill.
ACC basketball has and by Altel. Well, the first sail under Roy Williams is a successful voyage for North Carolina as they flash their Old Dominion by a score of 90 to 64. It was a well balanced Tar Heel attack. McCants with 18, Williams with 12, May with 17, Scott with 15, and Manuel with 12. So the usual suspects that you expect offensive production and balance out of Roy Williams got it on his first date. The thing that impressed me is that they grasped. The, the speed at which he wants to play the game and they did it start to finish and so the Tar Heels go into the tunnel Roy Williams at the outset of this game kind of nervous but uh, got the emotion of his first game back on the North Carolina bench this time as a head coach behind him and it finishes out in a 90 to 64 win for Mike Jemetsky I'm Steve Martin reminding you that you've been watching exclusive coverage of ACC basketball on the Raycom and Jefferson Pilot Sports Network. Good night from Chapel Hill.